Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Lisa Finkel from Finkel Pottery in Prince Edward Island on the east coast of Canada. Um, I'm back from a wonderful, wonderful vacation in Greece and Italy um, and inspired to make some pottery. So uh, I thought I'd share the results of a kiln opening with you. Now this is just a smaller kiln opening today. Um, I wanted to run my kiln because it's outdoors and it hadn't been run for probably four weeks. So it's always good to keep it running when you have an outdoor kiln. Um, but I did have some pieces in it that I wanted to share with you. Um, so first off is this, this floppy bowl. So you can see a lot of crystallization in blue. So this bowl has fire brick red on the back and then fire brick red around the rim. And I had a rim of coyote blue purple and, and fire brick red, I believe is Amoco. And then the middle is hydroscale. And then between the layers, I just did a small little band of flux globs of that just to help it run. So I thought that turned out really pretty. And as I said, it's just a free form bowl that I had started on the wheel and went on me. So you just take the, the bat that you're throwing it on and flip it over and hold it up against two pieces and just let it do what it wants to do. So that's what that did. Um, this, I'm really happy with this piece. This is a platter with butterflies and spirals. And I'm gonna get that a little closer for you so you can see all that beautiful drippage. So um, this platter is done in um, Amico Wasabi Celadon. And then I did a band of Cel uh, Mako Celadon bloom on the rim just one coat so that this was probably three thick coats the wasabi and then one coat of the um celadon bloom around the rim and a little bit onto the platter and then um a thick one thick coat of uh, mako flux which turned really pink in this one i mean there's always some pink in it but this i think it must be the celadon bloom it's reacting with so i'm getting all these pinks which is really quite pretty so yeah so that turned out nicely and it stayed flat which is always Miraculous for a big piece. Um, this is just a gift for um, a local high school teacher. And um, inside is just my studio white. It's on the red clay. Uh, just as, this is just like a medium red. It's not a super red, it's a Tucker's clay. Um, so I just put um, copper wash in the lettering at the bottom. Then I had um, Mako uh, frosted lemon, which turns much more goldy on the brown clay. And then two good coats of coyote um, gunmetal green. Um, just overlapping the lemon just a tiny bit and then it ran nicely. So pretty happy with that. That turned out nice. I think I've showed you these before. These are PEI Girl Mugs. Uh, we live on an island called Prince Edward Island, short form PEI. So white inside. Um, this is a power turquoise on the whole mug. And then one coat of Night Moth, about two thirds of the way down. So I have a few of those. This is just a mug I'm making for a local bank. So it's my studio blue. It's white dipped to about here, and then my studio blue dipped to about there, and then just white back over the logo. So there's that. I have a few of those. They're all pretty well the same. And then another PI Girl mug, and this one is Val's Turquoise to about here, studio blue to about there, so you get a little band of overlap which is really pretty. The Val's turquoise kind of speckles in underneath the blue and uh, just wipe back the, the lettering. So that turned out nice on the brown clay. I've shown you these before. I had one lone one left. I had to refire, I had a bare spot and uh, that fixed it. So it's frosted lemon uh, with a dip of my studio white and then flux. One, one coat of flux over it. And you just put a straw in here. So I call them adult sippy cups. Uh, this one turned out really cool. I was kind of playing. Now, um, 
the only thing I'm not happy with is the bottom is a bit patchy. So I may actually put a little more on and refire. So this was, all right, so this was on the dark clay. And Coyote glazes, um, their uh, Constellation glazes and some of their other glazes really seem to like the dark clay. So this was um, a random coat of Coyote Enchanted Sunset, two coats, sorry, and then a random band, random band of Coyote Fairy Rose, two coats, then one coat of Archie's base over those colors, then uh, one coat of Antique Pearl all over Coyote Antique Pearl, and then a second coat of Antique Pearl on the bottom, so I probably should have done a third coat on the bottom, but the Antique Pearl on white can be quite blah, but on the brown clay it gets all these blues in it, so it's really quite pretty. So um, I'm, I think I'm gonna give that a little refire, see how it turns out for me. Uh, what else did I wanna show you? These are just little cups, with finger dimples. Uh, so this is Firebrick Red with um, Amico Light Flux. I'm actually doing a bit of an experiment with Flux and some of my colors, which I'll have a video on later. So this is my Studio Blue with Light Flux, with just a little finger dimple. Those were a full dip in the color. This is my Studio Green, which I must show you. When I do it on white clay, it's this soft celadon green, really pretty. And it's a really, really easy clays to make. It's just um, three ingredients, I think. So, um, so there's that. But when I put it on brown clay, just one second, the green changes to this. So this I call vintage green. It really reminds me of like some of that 70s and 80s pottery that your mom might have had or whatever. So, um, or you might have had, uh, or your grandmother might have had. So that's quite a difference, right? So um, I do love it on brown clay. And when you put flux on it, because this is just the green with flux, and it turns turquoise. So sometimes I'll put like little turtle appliques or things like that on mugs and it's a really, really pretty look. Um, so that's fun to play with. What else haven't I shown you yet? So I showed you the little, these are just little trinket dishes with um, Tree of Life on them. I'll just stamp those. And ooh, I'm outside today, just outside my uh, kiln there, which is running in a bisque load right now. So this is my Studio Blue, which is nice and dark, but you can notice that it really does well with um, texture. So that's just a little whale stamp I put in there into these trinket dishes. And really one dip does it. So it's quick um, if you need a blue. I like the blue. What else to show you? Just a little bowl. So this is Winterwood um, with uh, a coat of Norse Blue, and then a coat of Flux on the rim. And I did this little lobster tray. We do live in lobster country on PEI. Uh, and it, I put uh, Amico Snapdragon on this, which is usually a really red, but it kind of burned out in the kiln. So I think I put two coats on, maybe I need to put a third, but I'll probably just leave it. I think it's it's clear enough. And this is just a textured rolling pin I use. Um, and the blue was Deep Sea, Emiko Deep Sea. So it's kind of fun. And some of you probably follow Hobble Creek Pottery. She's amazing. She's so generous to share her techniques and stuff. And one of the things she did a tutorial on was these dragon flasks. And so I tried one. It turned out pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly pleased with it. Um, I got a little bit of bowing here. I still have a long way to come go with my um, hand building techniques. I'm pretty comfortable throwing, but hand building sometimes I lack patience. <laughs> so working on the patience factor. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. I have one drip that I'll have to grind off. Um, and I'm going to put a gold leaf or gold in his eye and do overglaze and do another firing, a low fire. And then what I did for the glaze was I put um, 
Mako cobalt wash all over the texture and then wiped it back. And then I covered it with two coats of Coyote gunmetal green to get this sort of bluey green. And I don't know if you can pick up the crystallization there in the camera, but it's really nice. So really happy with that. So a little gold eye for him and then he'll be done. And then the last one, I know a lot of you follow West Coat Bell Pottery, Von Smith. He is so generous with his techniques and he does these big fish that he puts on the outside of his building and he sells them and stuff. So um, I've made a few fish. I love to make fish. Um, these are just little fish that I've made, but I wanted something really bright. I thought I might hang it by my pool. Uh, so this guy is fun, I think. Uh, so he is um, Coyote Enchanted Sunset on the body. Uh, Mako Frosted Lemon on the fins and the eye. And then the little details that I just uh, put on with a brush were uh, Coyote Fairy Rose, Coyote Fairy Rose lips, and then I just put some um, of uh, Mako matte, Satin Matte uh, White Glaze on his teeth. So I thought he was kind of cool for the summertime, nice and bright and fun. And then the other one I did, this one is a little more muted, but I like it as well. It's this little whale. And this one was, first I did um, iron wash in the texture and wiped it back. Then I did uh, two coats of alabaster on the bottom and two coats of the new Nimbus, um, Mako Nimbus glaze on the top part which is this kind of gray. I know it can be also be pretty blue, but um, in this particular case, it turned out fairly gray. I think that's it. Um, lots of stuff coming, getting ready for summer sales. Um, the kilns will hopefully flow. If you have any questions, please just put them in the comments. I'm happy to help. Um, if you like the videos, please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.